guys, so today I've got the new Hero Cosmetics Force Shield Sunscreen, which is a mineral-based sunscreen with 17.35% zinc oxide. I've had a little bit of a chance to test it, so I thought I would do a little video about it and also do it in the UV camera so you can see what it looks like when applying it, which is this camera right here. Um, so I will say this is fragrance free. It has no real scent. It has a little bit of an earthy scent from the zinc oxide, which has that earthy scent to it. Um, no fragrance. It is very friendly for acne prone skin. There's really only a couple ingredients of note for acne prone skin, which is vitamin E and cetaryl alcohol. Otherwise very friendly for acne prone skin. Uh, it has a little bit of a green tint to it. And it does have several nice hydrating, soothing, emollient ingredients in it. Uh, one of the main ingredients is Ultramonas ferment extract, which is a, uh, it's a microorganism. And it actually, from the manufacturer's research, it has potential UV protecting uh, ingredients, or not ingredients. It's composed of UV protecting components, I guess which means it helps your skin fight off UV damage better. So a lot of algaes have that same potential. So it's nice to see that in a sunscreen. Uh, this one, they say it's SPF 30, which uh, with 17.35% zinc, I would say 30 is on the lower side. In my opinion, it's probably a little bit better than that. Um, okay, so I thought I'd apply it, but it has a little bit of a green tint to it. So they say it flushes out red redness in skin. Personally, I don't think the tint is enough to really flush out redness, but here we go. So it's uh, pretty nice to apply. I'm just applying this over my moisturizer and bronzer. And uh, it applies pretty nicely. It does uh, take a little bit of time to fully absorb. And once it fully absorbs, it is, I would say a little bit on the tacky side a little bit sticky, but not terribly so. But anyway, so I thought I would do this one on the UV camera because I, ha I guess I haven't done a mineral sunscreen yet review, which surprises me, but there we go. I guess I haven't done it. So let's see how it looks under the UV camera. I generally wear a zip up hoodie, so I don't really use, do much on my neck because I usually am wearing a zip up. And outside it's not super hot. It's around 70, so I'll probably be still wearing my little zip up. So anyway, so it'll be interesting to see what it looks like under the UV camera. Cameron, does it look different than uh, the mineral sunscreen? People say sometimes mineral looks different under the UV camera than chemical ones. Does it look this similar to you? I can't tell now. Okay, you can't tell now, but anyway. So personally, it has a little bit of a green tint to it. I don't think that tint is enough to even out much redness. Although I will say from reading all the reviews of it so far, there are several reviews from pe people with deeper skin tones. And they did mention that this mineral sunscreen is much more forgiving than other ones they've tried. So I'm not sure if it's that green tint they put in it that helps it, but they found it had, they still found it had a cast, a white cast, but not as bad as a lot of other ones. So maybe that little bit of green pigment helps. I don't know, but I'm pretty pale. So anyway, I've been enjoying testing this one out. It's pretty friendly for acne prone skin, no issues with breakouts. Uh, it is a little bit sticky. It's not as sticky as some of the most sticky sunscreens I've tested, but it is still tacky. Although if you're gonna put a foundation over it, then it's not as big of an issue. But uh, for guys, they might wanna know it is a little bit tacky, but I've been really enjoying this one, quite impressed with it. Uh, it's pretty affordable. I think it was like around $14. The bottle is 1.7 ounces, so I don't know. Actually, this one impressed me. That's why it rose to the top, and I thought I would review it sooner rather than later just to share my thoughts with you guys on it. So anyway, those are my initial first week thoughts on the Heroes Cosmetics Force Shield sunscreen. Interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to check it out or if you're going to be checking it out. And Ike says hi, and Lincoln is somewhere. We don't know. He's hiding. Anyway, okay, thanks so much, guys. I will see you more later.